freaking eyelash better stick or I'm gonna being the makeup hoarder and good friend that I am to you, I picked up a ton of new drugstore products. We're gonna be reviewing them, talking about first impressions today. Make sure that you guys grab a snack. I have my cup of coffee right here. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. <laughs> Today we're gonna do things a little different. I decided that I'm gonna do my complexion first. And the first product I wanted to try out is the new e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. So this is supposed to be universal. The description on the back of the packaging says that it's a mattifying, skin perfecting putty primer that has a velvety texture. It glides effortlessly over the skin, smoothing imperfections, infused with cowlin clay and white charcoal to help absorb excess oil and grip makeup for all day wear. The results, a smooth, poreless, shine-free matte complexion. And just like the other poreless putty primer, it comes in this cute little container. It is white, which kind of, it kind of reminds me of clown white. I typically use about that much on my nail. And I'm going to work this through my t-zone typically my t-zone does get a lot more oily than the rest of my face hello the finish that this primer is giving me is honestly what I expected from the original poreless putty primer. I do like the original, but I only like to use it in certain areas on my face. And I always felt like I needed to add another primer, whether it was a mattifying primer or a pore perfecting primer. I just felt like it needed to be combined with something else. So I was torn between which drugstore foundations that I wanted to try. People have been talking a lot about the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation, but then people were also talking a lot about the new Maybelline Dream Radiant foundation. I got mine in the shade number 75. It has hyaluronic acid in it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try this one. Oh yeah, this is, oh my god, this is such a good color. It kind of has like that greenish undertone. I find it really hard to match myself in general and even harder at the drugstore. I would definitely say this is more of like a medium coverage. You guys know I'm a cake queen so I'm gonna add one more full pump to the lid. This time I think I want to apply it with a sponge though to see if I can get more coverage and I feel like it's just kind of like sitting on top of my skin right now. I feel like this foundation for me if I was to score it from a 1 through 10 I'd give it like a solid 6. I give it a 6 because I like the color and I like the feel of it. Um, I also like the idea behind it that it has hyaluronic acid and it's more hydrating. The only problem that I'm having with it is that it seems to be like emphasizing, and this could be the primer too, it's like emphasizing the texture right here around my mouth. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but mm, let me see if I can get it on my phone. Yeah, see? Mm. There's like a lot of texture and as you guys can see like you can see a lot of my dark marks. It's great for like an everyday kind of coverage. It's giving me a little bit of fucking anxiety because you guys know I like cake. To further spot conceal and kind of you know give myself the coverage that I want I'm going to use e.l.f.'s Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Sand. This is supposed to be more hydrating and more of like a satin finish. And then I'm also going to use this to conceal under my eyes. I'm going to let the concealer kind of around my face dry down a little bit so that way I get a little bit more coverage out of them. So far, I do think this concealer is blending actually really, really well. This is their original 16-hour camo concealer. And you guys, it was not the business for me. I started realizing after people had mentioned that it was really drying for them, that that could have been the problem for me. Also, I think that the color was really off. This is Medium Sand Original. And this is going to be Medium Sand in the new formula. You guys can see how much of a color difference that is. Look how much darker the new one is. So far, I think I really, really, really like this hydrating version better. Okay, now I'm going to go in with light beige to highlight. 
it's creasing under my eyes, which you would expect from a hydrating concealer. So I just need to let it dry and do its thing under my eye for a second. L'Oreal came out with Infallible Loose Setting Powder. I got the shade Translucent. I picked this up at Walgreens, I think. Shit, I don't. To be honest, I don't fucking know. It's a little itty bitty guy. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about like that it's not like a white translucent powder it has more of a pinkier tone to it not like a soft pink not like a rose petal pink but just something that isn't just white I did kind of add a little extra and the reason I did that is because I'm gonna spray myself I'm gonna use my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe sage and orange blossom spray my sponge kind of want to give it a minute to dry before you do this and the reason I do this is because I feel like it gets rid of any of that powdery look on my skin I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set the rest of my face and then I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my skin up with my physicians formula butter bronzer the shade I use is deep bronze and then I will jump back on camera with you guys to finish up the complexion and then we're gonna do eyes Okay, be right back. Okay, cute. So the bronzer's on, and I got two really fun new products from Wet n Wild. I got their Hello Halo Blush Lighter. I'm assuming it's a blush and a highlighter duo. This definitely does have shimmer in it, so if you guys are really expecting to use this as a blush, I would just be weary because I personally feel like things that have a lot of shimmer like that, it tends to emphasize texture. But before we jump into that, Went Wild, I believe just went ahead and repackaged their blushes. I got mine in the shade Nudist Society. So I'm going to use my Morphe 403 blush brush. So far, I am a fan of the blush. I do feel like my other blushes from Went Wild were a bit more pigmented. But anyways, we're going to go in and we're going to add these two. I personally don't think I'm going to mix them because I'm just not a mixing type of girl. So let me just go ahead and use that same blush brush in what I would consider the blush side. And I'm going to run that over the apples of my cheeks where I place that blush. You guys can definitely see like the sheen on the apples of my cheeks. If I was to be 100% honest, I could live without that. I am a fan of One Wild's highlighters as well. I haven't worn a highlighter, you guys, in literally months. So this is a highlighter. <laughs> oh my god, that is so freaking pigmented. I'm going to use a flat brush. I'm going to see if I can just kind of soften that a little bit. My huge, huge, huge fan of this. Um, to be honest, no. I think I could honestly live without this. I think that the packaging is super, super cute, but this just isn't my speed anymore. Okay, so you guys can see I already did my eyebrows, and I just used my CoverGirl Rich Brown Ultra Fine, Ultra Fine, Ultra Fine Eyebrow Pencil, and my e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade Taupe, I believe. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer to also prime my eyes. I hope you guys had a really, really great New Year's, Christmas. You know, life has just been happening. The holidays are here. It was really crazy. I uploaded a holiday look. If you guys didn't get a chance to see that, that's all affordable makeup as well. And I just, you know, I wanted to enjoy the holidays. I didn't want to put pressure on myself to create like New Year's looks or anything crazy along those lines so I didn't and I just really got to reconnect with friends and I got to spend time with my family and that's always really important to me. I found these really cute six eyeshadow long palettes at Walgreens. These are the most wanted eyeshadow palettes from Milani. This is in 110 Partner in Crime. I'm going to start with this shade. I did pick up a few other ones. I got three other Milani little six pan eyeshadow palettes. And I just want to start highlighting my brow right here. I'm going to take this really fluffy crease brush and now I'm just going to blend over that brow highlight to make sure it diffuses quite a bit. I think this is going to be more of a cool tone eyeshadow look, which... I'm down for. I hope you guys are down for. I'm going to use my Morphe 200 brush and I'm just going to go into this very next shade right next to that white and I'm going to use this to actually just carve out my crease. 
And just to make sure that I have some warmth in there, I'm going to dig into my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm going to run it over that shade as well. So skipping this middle shade right here and directly dipping into this shade, I'm going to just use this to carve out that crease and just define it a little bit more. I'm going to take this e.l.f. crease brush and I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to make sure that everything is super blended once again before I move into that next shade. Now I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to dip into that next shade and I'm going to focus this just right here in the outer V. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this concealer brush and I'm going to dig into that first light shade that we used to highlight under the brow and I'm going to actually cut the crease but I'm not going to use concealer to do this like I typically would. I just want it a little bit more softer and a little bit more diffused. I'm going to take my Sephora Pro Angle Eyeliner Brush and I'm going to dip into that second to last dark shade. And I'm just going to line my lash line. And I'm going to take it up into an angle. I'm going to use my new L'Oreal Matte Signature Eyeliner, and this is going to be more in a... Can I open this? This is going to be more in a... I believe this is a brown shade. Yeah, it's like a taupe or brown. This is going to go so perfect with my eyes, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to line my eyes. I'm not going to wing it out or anything. I just want to get really close to my lash line. Ooh, I echo like that eyeliner. Sorry, by the way, you guys, that my hair's not done today. I just didn't have it in me to do it, okay? I will go do my mascara, my eyelashes, we'll do a lip color together, and then we'll talk about some hits and misses. Let's do some lips. All right, well, for lip liner, I don't really know what I got. I guess I'm just gonna use my Morphe Sweetheart and Spiffy lip liners. So to go right along with Wet n Wild repackaging itself, they also repackaged their lipsticks. Now I know that there is also white packaging on some of the new lipsticks, and I believe that those are more like creamy or satin. These are the more matte, so I got mine in the shade Think Pink, Bear It All, and Skinny My Dipping. I'm going to go in with this shade. Hopefully I don't regret it. It's a lot more purpley. It's all right. It doesn't really do anything for me. Oh, I can't find my other Wet n Wild little lipstick, so I'm just going to use this new Revolution Matte Lipstick in Darling. I'm just not a fan of lipsticks that have purple in them because my natural lip has so much purple in it. There she is, you guys. Yes. So, things that I think I could live without doesn't mean that you have to live without them. You can try them, but my personal preference, and I assume because you're here, that we share similar preferences in makeup, or maybe shit, you just saw something in the thumbnail and you're like, you know what, I think I want to buy that, but I need to know, do I need it? I'm here to tell you the things that I feel you don't need first, and then we're going to talk about things that you do need. So, things that you don't need. If you already have the Wet n Wild blushes, the old color icon, you know the ones that come in the squares, not these, then I feel like you guys could definitely pass up on these unless there's a shade in this new packaging, which I feel like there are new shades. I just could have lived without it because I'm really, really, really happy with my other color icon blushes from Wet n Wild. Another product that I think you guys can live without is this Hello Halo blush lighter from Wet n Wild. It's like the duo highlight and blush. Like I said, I just feel like it emphasizes my texture. I don't really like that. I like a very matte blush and I just feel like this I could have passed up on but I was really intrigued by the packaging. Wet n Wild, you got me. Another item that I feel like you guys could definitely live without is the Milani Little Six Pan Eyeshadows. Now hear me out, okay? I am a fan girl for Milani. I do love Milani a lot. I love their packaging. I love their aesthetic. I feel like they're the Mercedes-Benz at the drugstore of drugstore makeup. But I do feel like I just have these colors in the soft and sultry, in the most loved mattes, and I don't think I personally needed this eyeshadow palette. Do I love the look that I came up with? 
yes the other palettes I got this is one of them this is more uh, was this this is called burning desire so this is gonna be more of those terracotta reddish shades I guess with like gold in them did I need it no because I have 500 million warm palettes but did I want it obviously because I freaking purchased it I feel like I could have definitely lived without that I also definitely I'm not gonna take too much time could have lived without these lipstick colors now I want to talk about some hits that I had today. Definitely at the top of my wow list is going to be the new L'Oreal Matte Signature Liquid Eyeliner. It's not like your typical brown eyeliner. It has like this undertone of purple in it and I just felt like it went really 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 well with this eyeshadow palette and eyeshadow look today I had no idea that this had an undertone of taupe or purple in it but I am super super happy about it another item that I feel deserves an honorable mention well there's two more is the L'Oreal infallible loose setting powder I'm really happy with the way that this looks all around my face I like the way it looks underneath my eyes the only downside is look how small Whoa. Oh, caught it. Look how small it is. It's super tiny. I mean, I have baby hands, and this is super tiny. I'm very happy with this product. I feel like it definitely gives me Tarte Shape Tape vibes because you guys know that Tarte Shape Tape is like the gold standard. Well, at least for me it is. I compare everything to this freaking concealer. If you're somebody more on the dry side or if you guys happen to have more dry eyelids or dry under eyes, this might be really up your guys' alley. If you guys are in the market for a new concealer, I would definitely suggest trying this out i was not mad at this i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and as always my beautiful little glam fam i will catch you guys all in my next video bye guys